Once you're comfortable with the definition of the enterprise value to EBITDA multiple, and you're comfortable with this idea of solving for the target price using the justified enterprise value to EBITDA multiple, then we can move on to uh, actually just calculating it using a spreadsheet. So you can do it very Here's the formula that we're working with. The target price is going to be equal to the justified ratio times the EBITDA plus cash minus debt minus preferred equity minus minority interest divided by shares outstanding. The hard part of this is coming up with the peers to compare the firm that you're analyzing with to and to figure out what the justified ratio is. All of this has a lot of assumptions. I mean, in, in this whole discussion here, we're assuming the enterprise value to EBITDA is the right multiple. Maybe it's not. Maybe this is not the uh, correct multiple for your company or for analyzing firms in that particular sector. But let's go forward with this assumption, assuming it's a correct one. We're going to value Plantronics, assuming that the enterprise value to EBITDA is the multiple that best represents what the stock is going to trade for in the future. What I've done here is I've opened up Excel. I've used the Capital IQ Excel plugin to download a template, and that template is this detailed comps under the equity comparable. So I've already got it running. And what it's done is it's downloaded data for Plantronics with the symbol PLT. So all this information on Plantronics is in column E. And it's identified some comparable firms in columns G through W. Let's just assume that these are the right firms. Again, you have to go through a lot of research in order to figure out what are the best firms because this is an important part of the step. This is where analysts really earn their money not by just running a template, but deciding what are the right comparables and what's the right metric. This is a really tough job. Once you've made those decisions, this template makes it easy to get the data. I'm going to scroll down and what we can see here is that it's got information on the EBITDA for all these firms. It's got the last fiscal year, the last 12 months, next fiscal year, and the fiscal year two years out. It's got the ratio of enterprise value to EBITDA. It's calculated for the firm we're analyzing. For example, Plantronics trades for a ratio of 11 times the enterprise value to EBITDA, and that EBITDA is the one for the last 12 months. We also have it for all these peer firms right here. So let's assume that the right multiple is this one right here. Let's assume that we have investigated what are the what should be the normalized earnings going forward for this company and it's best represented by the enterprise value that's I'm sorry not the enterprise value but the EBITDA that's going to be for the fiscal year that's coming up the fiscal year plus one once we've decided that then we can look at the enterprise value to EBITDA for FY plus one for the peer firms and come up with the target multiple that Plantronics should trade for. And all this information is in these cells right here. We just need to figure out how we're going to do it. So the first adjustment that you need to make is to go up and not include this in the analysis. You don't want to have circular, circular logic here, so you don't want to have this firm that you're analyzing be included in the analysis. So I'm going to put no there, then I'm going to go back down Make sure I've got the right row here. It's going to be row 60. And let's assume that we're going to get the median. It's got median right here. The median enterprise value to EBITDA for FY plus 1. And that works out to be 9.3 times. If these target firms are correctly valued, then Plantronics should trade at 9.3 times this enterprise value to EBITDA for FY plus 1. So now we've got the, the justified target multiple. And once we've got the justified target multiple, we can run the total enterprise value to EBITDA spreadsheet that's going to calculate the target price for us. You need to input a couple of things. The first thing you need to do is put 
the ticker symbol in B1. And then what that does is it allows the capital IQ Excel plugin to get the current date. It'll get the shares outstanding. It'll also get the current stock price for Plantronics. It'll go get the market capitalization, the cash and short-term investments, the total debt, preferred equity, minority interest. All of that gives you this total enterprise value. The other thing that you need to input, and it's shown here in blue, is that justified multiple. So in the other spreadsheet, we decided that Plantronics should trade for 9.3 times the enterprise value to EBITDA of its peers. And that's for fiscal year plus one. So once we enter in 9.3 right here, then we look for this row associated with the time period. We decided to use the EBITDA for fiscal year plus one. So we're gonna use row 18. And what this is telling us is that the target price for Plantronics is, should be $50 and about five cents. So it automatically calculates it for you. But what you're going to have to do is select from one of these three time periods, either the last 12 months, the fiscal year plus one, or the fiscal year plus two. And since we're using that EBITDA for FY plus one, it's going to use this EBITDA right here for Plantronics that analysts are expecting for the next fiscal year and actually do the calculation right here. You can look at the messy numbers associated with this, the formulas right here, but as long as you understand the concepts, this is going to give you the target price. Hope this helps.